Hey guys, Asher here, back in the video, and today I'm going to be doing another Psych Engine coding tutorial. Now, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can put cutscenes into your Friday Night Funkin' mod using L U using Lua. Now, people, I am aware some people will say in the comments, just use source code. I have had quite a few comments about that um, on my past coding videos, but what you don't seem to understand is these coding tutorials are specifically made for people that either A, can't be asked to use source code, or B, actually physically can't use source code as they don't know how to use it. And for those of you who can't be bothered to code the LUA either, or the Lua either, um, I will make a, as I did with the last video, a script folder, a tool, and I will upload it to Game Banana. Uh, if, you do in, if you do like the tool, Feel free to use it as long as I'm credited somewhere. Um, I'll add credit stuff myself into the script folder. You can remove it if you want. But uh, yeah, if you do like these kind of stuff, these kind of modding videos, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me out as I'm trying to see. And testing the waters more like to see if I can hit around about 1,000 subscribers or like I get at least 100 subscribers from coding videos alone. All right, so anyway, with that said, uh, let's get into it. So... Um, I don't have any good videos to use, um, so I'm just going to be using um, the EXE show mod I'm working on. Um, so what you're going to want to do first is go to Psych Engine Mods Your Mod. And then once you're in here, you're going to want to go to Videos. And then in here, insert one of your videos. For this example, I'm going to be using CookingCasualty.mp4. Um, they they, I think they can be other formats. Um, I think the supported formats are only WebM and MP4. I can't, I don't know, I I just use MP4, so. Now, what you want to do next is, this is a little bit different. Uh, in this tutorial, first I'm going to be going over how to code in uh, cutscenes to start with, and then I'm going to show you how to turn the cutscene into a trigger, trigger uh, a charting event. So, for it to be loaded in into the song, you're going to want to go to Data, you're going to want you're going to want to find your fight you find the game or the mod rather and then you're going to want to i i moved this for debug purposes so i'm going to go ahead and put it back in so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a file into there called playintro.lua um it doesn't have to be play intro it can actually be whatever you want um but keep your naming convention simple now, this is built off of um, Shadow Mario's uh, LUA script itself, or Lua script. Now, um, what you need to do first is just make a variable called play video. Um, first of all, we're going to go ahead and set this to a local, um, more than likely. So, um, what we do is, um, this all depends where you want it. If you want it to load, like, directly at the start like before the countdown itself you can go ahead and use function on create that may or may not work i'm not going to test it but um what i what i saw is you're better off using function on start countdown what this does is it will trigger when the countdown is started so it will load everything in and just as the three two one starts it will load your cutscene so what you want to do is this would be um so you want to do if not scene cutscene. So what this is is it refers to the scene cutscene. Um, what this does is um, basically if you're using it for story mode purposes, um, such as this, you can go ahead and use it um, for uh, on start countdown. What this does though, this will mean that the that the cutscene will play even if you are in free play. As it said when I hovered over it, if you set if you set um, the function to on create, it will once you've seen it once, it will set it to true, which means that if you ever try to view it again in free play, it will not show. So what we do is if play video equals true essentially, then we do start video and the name of your video file. Play video set that to false, and then return the function. So stop this function here. And then we'll return the the continue continuation of the function, which will go ahead and continue the countdown. So if you want to see what this looks like 
in game so if we go ahead and let me just quickly save the file I don't know what I changed this may break because I changed the local but I have no idea um, so if we go ahead and go into the exe show folder right here and boot up the game let me turn it down a bit for you guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load into free play like this and we're gonna immediately go into cooking casualty and what this does is this sh should automatically load in our cutscene. It'll take a little bit of a while to load due to having to load in the cutscene in the back end. As you can see, it automatically loads in our cutscene. Complete with audio if you listen. Now, as you can see, we physically can't skip this. Um, so the only way to get to the song would to be to watch everything through. However... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how you can make it into a custom event. Now, this might be really badly optimized because it's my, to be honest, first attempt at trying this. But it should work from what I saw. Um, after this video, I'll have a good, I'll have a good look at um, trying to set it. So, uh, let's call this quickly play play video dot lua. After this video, I'm going to see if I can optimize it because I don't know how optimized it, is go it will be. So we're going to go ahead and go into our, our play video. So now we're going to be using on event. So let's go ahead and set all our script up now. So function, actually no, instead of that, just on event. Get rid of this as usual. Okay, now that we've got this up. Uh, we can get rid of strum time as usual as well. So what we do now is we go into here and we type if event name is equal to your event. So for us, that would be play video. Then, hang on. So if it's set to play video, what we do is we go ahead and press enter. We're going to do here play um, let me quickly recheck this real quick. Uh, it's not play, it's start video. And of course, um, for this one, I'm just going to do the very funny game over file I have. So we're going to go here. Um, my very funny game over is, um, app one game over. App one game over. And then since this is just an event, we should be able to end it like this. And then I'm pretty sure we do just... Let's keep it as this for now. Uh, this should be enough. Uh, if it breaks, uh, cool. And I will attempt to fix it if it does break. So we're going to go back. We're going to go now into our custom events, wherever that is. And then we're just going to new text document. We're going to set this to play video and we're just going to call it plays a video now what you could do is you could set the start video potentially to take a value instead but this kind of mimics the more hard-coded style um once i release the tool to the public i'll have a look at uh, like adding uh you being able to set it in uh the chart editor but for now, we're going to have a pretty bare bones system. Alright, so first we're going to want to go into here. We're going to want to start a new game. We're going to go free play, as usual. And then let's go ahead and go to... So what we're going to want to do first, actually, is so we don't have to watch the entire cutscene. I completely forgot about this. That's completely my fault. I was preoccupied. Um, we're going to go to, once again, data, our song, and we're just going to quickly paste this out here. Cut and paste. Now we're going to go back in, like this, and then we're going to load it, and then this should just put us into the song. Uh, so we'll go to, like, uh, so let's go to our events. Let's get our event here. Uh, set it like to like two seconds, I guess. Uh, this is either gonna break or it should work. So 
So this is how you do mid-song cutscenes. Now, uh, notes won't be shown. The video will go over the top of the notes. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to do it similar to Pibby Apocalypse and set it so it specifically, um, so it specifically um, cor correlates with the music. Like for example, in that one Pibby uh, song, uh, there's a break in the music where they play the mid-song cutscene. Um, now, I know there is a there is a way to uh, cache events longer. Um, so let me just quickly search um, event early trigger. What this does, um, so um, there is a way, I think, to set it. But uh, as you can see, this works perfectly well. Uh, there is a little bit of a hitch um, for loading the file. So what you'd have to do is yourself, um, you'd have to test the right amount of time. Um, I think there's like maybe a second delay at most between between hitting the event note and then loading into it that's at most it's probably actually a few milliseconds but uh yeah as usual i hope you did all enjoy the next video will be similar to a mario's madness programming where I, I will show you guys how you can have random music play whenever you pause the game to kind of like mix it up um i might do custom menu tutorials i'm not sure yet as i have to if I wanted to do that, I have to break open the Urple guy uh, source code and have a look through that and try and construct it for you. But we're also going to be doing a video on how to play a video on Game Over. It's pretty simple to this. Uh, extremely simple. Extremely similar. But you guys probably still want to see it anyway. Uh, but yeah, with that said, I hope you all did enjoy. And I'll see you all in the next video. Astronomical, out.